the Greyhound bus service is no more. It shut down a year ago as most travel stopped. It was supposed to be a temporary move, but the company announced today it won't start up again even after the pandemic. Jeannie Lee joins us with more. So Jeannie, how does the company explain this decision? Well, that's, it simply ran out of options, time, and money, Andrew. After all, the service, as you say, has been shut down for a full year, and the pandemic isn't over yet. And after that, the return to travel, uh, to normal levels of travel, may be quite slow. So here's what the company had to say, a statement uh, from the senior vice president. We deeply regret the impact that this has had on our staff and on our customers, as well as the communities we have had the privilege of serving. A full year without revenue has unfortunately made it impossible to continue operations. Now, the Greyhound that's left to shut down is really a shadow of its former self because it was um, suffering for many years from dwindling ridership, uh, lower revenues. And um, so about three years ago, Greyhound Canada actually eliminated a great swath of Canada, and that's Western Canada, from its service. And that left only routes in Ontario and Quebec, uh, between Montreal and Windsor, effectively. Uh, cities like Toronto, Ottawa, Montreal, London, Kingston, but even those will now be gone, Andrew. And what will the greatest impact be? We'll see the same kind of impact uh, and the worst impact um, on the groups that were most impacted when the Western Canada service was shut down. We're talking about rural communities, northern communities, and indigenous communities. Um, the fact is, uh, this was a diminished service. It served the larger cities in Ontario and um, in, in Quebec, but at the same time, those are connections to other smaller centers. So let's just sum up where the, the pain will be the most. And that would be those smaller centers with no alternatives in terms of um, other ways of getting around. You have lower income Canadians who can't afford to fly or rent a car. And as the union lamented today, there were the 300 uh, remaining Greyhound employees they will obviously suffer from job loss. And all the other uh, small businesses that ran along the routes uh, and uh, the terminals operating things like snack bars, for example, those would also mm -hmm. be obviously quite hurt. Okay, Jeannie, thank you. You're welcome.